Well, it's exciting, it's a little loud, but it's a lot of fun, but yet it's very educational. Hello everyone, I'm Dick Crippen. I'm a proud board member of the Pinellas Education Foundation. I wanna welcome you to Enterprise Village. This is the Stavros Square, and believe me, it is active like a beehive today. These kids are here to learn, and this has been going on for 30 years. An innovative program, and today, we're gonna learn a little bit about the history and meet some of the people who were affected by Enterprise Village. The idea, of course, originally came from Howard Hinesley, uh, who had been in Kansas City and seen this Hallmark Center called Exchange City. And he kept um, approaching Dad, uh, who was very busy in the community t at the time as well as at Florida pra Progress. And he said, you know, I really want you to start a foundation and build this for our students in Pinellas County. We can do a lot of talking in the classroom, a lot of instruction, but we're attempting to make his as close to real life running a business as we can with Enterprise Village. After several requests, he finally said, okay. I don't think anyone would have imagined that Enterprise Village would become a worldwide free enterprise program for the children of the world, not just of Pinellas County. For Enterprise Village, we went around as a kind of a dog and pony show with the superintendent and the, uh, we talked to people with this with this mock-up of Enterprise Village, and we raised $1.1 million. He went and got Barnett Bank, or Morton Plant Hospital, or Florida Power, so that these businesses were, be, were familiar with these fifth graders when they became adults in this community. This is Enterprise Village, a place where a lesson in economics comes to life. This program is a joint venture involving the school district, the business community, and a group of very dedicated volunteers. The beneficiaries are the children. He once said that the reality was by far better than the dream. You've heard me say, tell me I forget, show me I may remember, but involve me, I understand. Uh, Gus has, a, has had a vision of how to bring people to a level they never thought they could achieve. And, and that's what always inspired me with, with his ability to, to see things that most of us don't see. Well, all you have to do is look around as we're here in Enterprise Village uh, on this Friday, and you see youngsters that are excited, they're motivated, you, don't, you see smiles on their face, and they don't look like what people might think, well, they're just passing time. No, these, these youngsters are having a good time, and they're learning. Enterprise Village has been such a legend in our, our, our community. I think if you talk to any adult in this community, because it's been around, we're celebrating its 30th year, they'll tell you the one thing they remember about Pinellas County School is Enterprise Village and what they were and how they served during that, uh, during that day at Enterprise Village. Uh, my own children went through Enterprise Village and they remember exactly how they got dressed up, the position they had, how they had an interview for it, and it gives us a, an opportunity to, to be an adult for the day. Enterprise Village is one of those unique opportunities that when I'm out in the community and I'm talking about the Pinellas Education Foundation and I mention Enterprise Village, instantly the person can tell me, oh, I was the mayor, oh, I worked in the bank, I was a teller. I mean, they, it resonates with them. It's one of those sort of monumental moments in a student's experience in Pinellas County Schools is their opportunity to come to Enterprise Village. If you ask a child 10 years after they leave here, what was their best experience at school, many of them come back and say Enterprise Village, you know. Uh, we have a spot here, Ditech, and it's uh, manufacturing and they bring out the tools every morning for these young people. We've got young people learning about our free enterprise system and learning that career and technical education is not a bad path. So I was actually one of the first students to attend Enterprise Village when it first opened about 30 years ago. Two of my daughters have been through Enterprise Village so far, um, and I got to experience that as well as a volunteer, so I got to come here and watch them in action. Uh, it was nice to hear that my kids chose to be the managers of Better Business Bureau, which is a company that I now work for, and we're able to be a sponsor of Enterprise Village and help support what the organization is doing. 
in the curriculum, the students learn about their skill sets, where their strengths, their weaknesses, and they apply for jobs using those strengths and weaknesses. It is an experience like none other, and uh, it also teaches us about hands-on learning, application. You can do anything you want in the classroom through textbooks. But when you go into an environment where it's actually a, a community village, it's so meaningful to students, and they remember that forever. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is the impact that we're having on students. The Education Foundation is all about bringing equitable, innovative solutions to Pinellas County Schools. One doesn't realize exactly when one starts something, uh, how it's going to go. But I've often said, uh, nobody accomplishes anything alone, not one person. It needs people working together, a team, a village, uh, an enterprise village. <laughs>
And so, you know, they, they, they learn, they really learn so much in one day. It's amazing. Well, this is the Enterprise Village in the Pinellas County area. But this is not the only Enterprise Village. As a matter of fact, it franchised. Yes. Um, and, and for me, that's, you know, it's very a fulfilling idea that, that um, something that the community leaders in this county, uh, you know, they say it takes a village and it took a village in this county. But for, for, for the foundation to be willing to, 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 to promote that or share that uh, with J Junior Achievement so that it can be across the country and it, in, and in other countries, um, I, you know, is amazing because I think they learn so much. Why should we keep it just here? I mean, I think that it's a very, um, it's a very generous, but also, what else would you do? You want it to be everywhere because you've seen, after 30 years, you see how, um, what an impact it has uh, on our students. Well, Bob, I think you, more than a lot of other people, understand the true mission of the Pinellas Education Foundation. And I look around you today in Enterprise Village, I don't know, I mean, this seems to sum it all up. It does. You know, how can you not walk in here and get pumped up? I, I actually remember years ago when I first was on the board, I would come in here just to get excited about it because, you know, you watch these young people and you think about 30 years and the vision that, that Gus Stavros and the, uh, the superintendent schools had in those days to start something as wonderful as this. Uh, it's an exciting time for us. And that's what people have to understand about the foundation, that it does things like this. It, it, it's not really the school board, it's supplementing the school. It is. Uh, the partnership we've got with Pinellas County Schools is unique. And uh, you know I travel all over for education like you have. And, and I've seen it where there seems to be a little bit of a thing, but never a partnership like I've seen with the business community, the school system, and the Pinellas Education Foundation. Uh, it's unique. Uh, as you know, this is replicated all over the world, and uh, a dream that Gustin had that many years ago has just come true. But you've seen it grow. You've seen it from the start, almost. It is, and you know, the unique thing is these are real businesses. Uh, it's not like ABC Corporation. These are real businesses in our county, and, and the support is tremendous, uh, and it, it's fun. Every fifth grader goes through where we're at today, Enterprise Village. They take it back to their schools with them. Exciting. But I think, Bob, you bring a unique perspective because you own a company and you know the importance of these kids getting some hands-on. Uh, we have a spot here, Ditech, and it's uh, manufacturing and they bring out the tools every morning for these young people. But what strikes me the most about this, Vic, is that you and I come from an age where every child had to go to college. And that's all we heard all our lives. And as we see Enterprise Village go, if you look around this room, there are certainly college careers in this room, but there are so many career and technical places in this building, like, like my company, like Crown, where you have mechanics and engineers and stuff like that. We were ahead of the curve. We were ahead of the curve on this one. Uh, we've got young people learning about our free enterprise system and learning that career and technical education is not a bad path, you know? <laughs> a lot of people don't realize the many projects of the foundation, get into a couple of them. Well, you know, um, I'm more involved in the career and technical education side of it. Uh, uh, letting people know that there are great opportunities. I remember the days when we could work in our cars and we can't do that anymore. You've <laughs> got to be, you know, you've got to go to some type of career and technical school to get that education. But the foundation is involved in a lot of roles in Pinellas County. Uh, we have tutoring programs. Uh, uh, the Elevating Excellence program that Stacy Byer bought to the table uh, with a donation we got from a friend of ours, you know, uh, Mr. Jacobson, uh, which is helping young people uh, do better on these uh, tests to get them the, the Bright Future Scholarships. It's so important now, full, full four-year ride to college. Uh, the foundation is also involved in the community and other aspects. Uh, I'm very proud of what we've done here, and I'm very proud of the presidents we've had at the foundation, now CEO Stacy and it's been good. <laughs> Well, Brian, let's talk first of all about your experience, because you are a graduate. I am. So I was actually one of the first students to attend Enterprise Village when it first opened about 30 years ago. 
And uh, it was a great experience. I remember our teacher talking about it and explaining to us what we're going to do as students. And it was a real great experience. It was fun to know about this and have this opportunity to come and enjoy Enterprise Village for the first time. So I have three kids. Two of my daughters have been through Enterprise Village so far. Um, and I got to experience that as well as a volunteer. So I got to come here and watch them in action, watch them working, go through the same experiences that I, that I went through. And it was great to see that, and it sort of brought back my childhood memories of coming here and, and remembering what I did here. And uh, back then, I was a manager of McDonald's. was the choice that I chose. Uh, it was nice to hear that my kids chose to be the managers of Better Business Bureau, which is a company that I now work for, and we're able to be a sponsor of Enterprise Village and help support what the organization is doing. Well, you mentioned where you worked when you first came here. And if I look around, I see that company is still involved. And I see that with a lot of companies here. They, the companies have stayed with it, which has really helped to make it a successful program. They have. You know, I, I remember companies when I was here that are still here today, like the McDonald's, the banks, the power companies. And it's great now the Better Business Bureau is here. We've been here for several years now. Uh, we're able to support Enterprise Village and even Finance Park as well. Uh, the Better Business Bureau believes in trust and ethics in the marketplace and promoting character of ethics, so it really aligns well, the Better Business Bureau's mission and vision with Enterprise Village and what we're trying to do with these students and instill good work ethic in these students to make good choices and uh, learn that through the Better Business Bureau values that we have. All right, Joe, let's talk first about how you met Gus Stavros. I met Gus uh, when I joined uh, the company that he founded, Better Business Forms, in the uh, 60s. <laughs> and uh, Yes, yes, 60s. <laughs> yeah. Long time ago. And, uh, of course, Gus was just uh, the guy in the background that was the owner of the company. He didn't have no clue who I was. But uh, it became, it didn't take very long to understand that uh, Gus was really the, the driving force at uh, a small printing company at that time. And uh, it, it turned out to be a career for me, but uh, working with Gus is what drove all of it. Uh, and so Gus started your career and now he starts a lot of other careers. It, no question that uh, Gus has, a, has had a vision of how to bring people to a level they never thought they could achieve. And, and that's what always inspired me with, with his ability to, to see things that most of us don't see. And to be able to reach achievements that we didn't know we could achieve. And uh, that was, uh, he was just an inspiration in that, in that way for, for me personally. Uh, 30 years ago, Enterprise Village came into being. Absolutely. And you were, you were watching that. I would, uh, of course, at that time, I was involved with running the company. Uh, and uh, I would, he would come in at the end of the day after being at meetings and out, uh, working with other uh, people within the community with this vision of uh, how to uh, put together a, uh, uh, I don't know whether you'd call it a, uh, a village at the time, but he wanted to put together a program that could teach young people uh, free enterprise. And he would talk to me about those, those ideas and concepts. And, and uh, I always thought that would be really great because you know, we would get high school graduates that, uh, that would come to join our company that didn't even understand uh, that if you sold a product for a dollar, that you didn't keep the dollar. And I think that was part of the driving force with the Enterprise Village part. He was, I think he was working with people like uh, uh, the superintendent of schools at the time, uh, uh, Mr. Hinesley, I believe it was, who was, uh, I think, working with uh, Gus on it. I think was Gus's main, uh, I guess, task at that time was to go around and get enough buy-in because this was going to be funded by private money. And that was something Gus felt very strong about, that uh, th this would be uh, a program that, uh, uh, that we didn't have to rely on the taxpayer. But, and certainly that's where he wanted to take it. I think one of the things I, I think about as far as kids learning, and that is if they're interested in something, they're going to learn a lot better. And they're, 
This gives them an opportunity to show a variety or, or see a variety of different interests. And one of them may strike. Well, all you have to do is look around as we're here in Enterprise Village uh, on this Friday, and you see youngsters that are excited, they're motivated, you, don't, you see smiles on their face, and they don't look like what people might think, well, they're just passing time. No, these, these youngsters are having a good time, and they're learning. They understand that, and that's, it, it, it inspires me as somebody who's involved in the, uh, the program here, uh, that I'm sure this is what uh, Gus had in mind, that something that, uh, that you, you can touch and feel, because Gus always believed in, you can tell somebody something, but when you can show them and get them involved, that takes them to new uh, levels of interest. But that idea where it started here in Pinellas County is now literally worldwide. That's unbelievable that if this has taken on a global aspect and to think that it would be in Japan and some other uh, countries and, you know, I don't know that the, uh, the, uh, the people like uh, Gus and the others that were involved in the uh, uh, initial startup of this had that vision. <laughs> But it certainly has taken on a whole new uh, expansion. And I think it, it, hopefully it helps bring people together a little bit. And uh, uh, I think that, that that's what happens when you get people working together. And that's what this is all about. Well, Patty, I look around, I hear the noise, I hear the excitement, I hear the fun. Yes. This is what it's about. This is all of what it's about. It is an opportunity to just watch students come through and not only are they um, learning about running a business, but they're having fun while doing it. And that's the whole idea of the thing, to give them that exposure about business. Yes, and the curriculum, the students learn about their skill sets, where their strengths, their weaknesses, and they apply for jobs using those strengths and weaknesses. So the student that excels in math that student wants to be the CEO and or they want to be the bank manager and the students that are customer service friendly, they're outgoing, they're social, they want to work with the public, those are the ones that gravitate to some businesses, especially like HSN, McDonald's and radio station because they're interacting with people. So the whole experience of having the kids learning about what they're good at and then applying it here that is what it's all about. It's amazing to me to see that this has been going on for 30 years. I mean, you've come into the program. You haven't been here 30 years. No. I, I'm not going to put that on you. But to see the growth of this program, and it's not finished yet. It is not finished. And when our program was acquired by Junior Achievement years and years ago, it was acquired because of how interesting and how how much of a learning opportunity it was for students. But from there, it has grown to over 35 countries around the world. So Enterprise Village, the impact isn't just local, it is international. You can find Enterprise Village in Asia, you can find Enterprise Village in South America, you can find Enterprise Village in uh, Africa. They're not called Enterprise Village, they're called BizTown, but it's because of Enterprise Village that we have those other programs. So it is an impact, it doesn't impact just here locally, but nationwide and worldwide. The students, uh, while they're here, and as you look around, you'll see that they're actually working. And when they're working, they're doing a job. So they understand that relationship between providing a service to customers or to your community, and how in return, you get paid for that job. And that whole correlation until they come to Enterprise Village, they don't have that concept. And they take this information, and many of them, they go out into the real world, and they use what they've learned here. I don't think a lot of people realize how unique this opportunity is. You know, when they were first getting started with thinking about creating Enterprise Village, they just, the example was generic storefronts. But the opportunity to bring businesses into Enterprise Village, real businesses that when kids are out in the community, they're seeing, you know, the business that they saw at Enterprise Village, they can relate with the jobs and the employees who are there. I think it really 
takes it off the charts in terms of the student experience. And I think that's so important for businesses to realize how important it is for them to support Enterprise Village. We have wait lists to get into Enterprise Village because businesses really want to get that early association with students. They want, when kids are thinking about sports teams in their community, they want them to think about the Rays. When we're talking about uh, banks, that we want them to be thinking about Bank of America. So we have businesses that are clamoring to get into Enterprise Village because having that brand association at an early age is just so important to them. Stacy, you head up the foundation and a lot of people don't understand the foundation per se. They see this, they love it. So what did the foundation have to do with all this? You know, when people think about the Education Foundation, they will often talk about the things that we do. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is the impact that we're having on students. The Education Foundation is all about bringing equitable, innovative solutions to Pinellas County Schools. And so, Enterprise Village is a perfect example of, you know, but for the Education Foundation, there probably wouldn't be an Enterprise Village. We can think outside the box. We can be more nimble. We can be more responsive to some of the issues that sometimes when you're working with a government entity, it's not, not as easy to make those early investments to take some of that risk. And so I think one of the beauties of the Education Foundation is that we can, we can be on that kind of cutting edge. We've seen it here with programs like Enterprise Village that have been taken internationally. Uh, an idea that was started here in Pinellas County is now found in other countries throughout the world. You see it with programs like our Take Stock in Children. We can incubate really creative ideas that then other communities can pick up. That's a good point. And I want people to understand this is just a project one of many projects of the foundation. Yes, absolutely. The uh, academies that are in the high schools was a, again an origination of, of the Pinellas Education Foundation. What's neat about Enterprise Village is I think it really seeded the foundation's commitment to making sure that real life experiences were connected to student experiences in the school. And it's multiplied over the years. So we have Enterprise Village, we have Finance Park that teaches students about personal finance, but then you alluded to the career academies. And so the opportunity that we now have in middle school and high schools, that the Education Foundation has really led the charge on making sure that while students are in our schools, they're actually earning industry certifications that they can then transfer when they go out to work into the, go out into the workplace. Right. And people have to understand that's good whether you're going to college or, or into the workforce. Absolutely. As a 30-year employee, I wish I was certified in Microsoft Office, and I can tell you that people wish I was all the time. <laughs> well, Stacy, for you personally to be in charge of something like this whole business of the Education Foundation, uh, it's just got to be an absolute thrill for you. You know, it's a it's a great day. I mean, every day I wake up, I, I uh, come into work, and I'm just excited to be here. In fact, the other day, just a week ago, my son had the opportunity to go to BizTown in, in Tampa, because that's where he goes to school. Right. And he was just so excited to tell everybody that his mom works at the place where this idea originated. And that's what we want to get across to a lot of people. When they support the foundation, they're supporting innovations that supplement the schools. It helps the schools and is compatible. And that's focused, and we're focused on impact. The opportunity to not only make innovative investments, but we want to be accountable to those investments and we want to make sure that we're having the type of impact that's going to be long lasting for our schools, our teachers, and our students. So, 30 years this has been going on and it has made an impact in Pinellas County like you cannot imagine. Rare is the child that doesn't go through Enterprise Village. I hope you've enjoyed looking back with us at the history of it and enjoyed the involvement of being part of Enterprise Village. And we want you to be a part. And you can do that through the Pinellas Education Foundation. Thanks a lot for your attention. God bless.